just surfaced in front of us. He's on it. There we go. That's a fish on, baby. Fish on. What is going on, you guys? Welcome to another episode. We're out right now in the wilderness trying to catch some fish. Actually on our way out to the property, doing a property update video today. I haven't been there in a while. Um, it's just me here. This is a solo mission. And the goal is to stop by right now at this little creek that we're gonna try and catch maybe one or two trout for dinner. Don't need to catch a whole bunch of them. There's been a big windstorm that's come through since we've been there last. Uh, if you guys missed the last episodes or do remember, uh, we put up a tent, a big hot tent at the property that's kind of base camp out there. So I'm hoping that camp is still standing. I haven't been out there since, so we're gonna check it out together. I did see something really crazy on the cameras that I'm gonna share with you guys later. We've had an active hunt that was filmed on the cameras. We, we've had a casualty on the property. Let's just say it that way. Uh, <laughs> so either way, the water's right here. I'm trying to stay super low. You can see my shadow down there. Uh, the sun is right behind me and I'm trying to not spook any fish. We've got our bobber rod and we've got uh, the bullet lure right here. There is, however, in the water, lots and lots of tumbleweed. You see all of those little weeds right there rolling around in the water? We also have to, today in this video, do a redemption from the last video where I was not able to start a fire with the flint and steel. So today we're gonna make it happen. Redemption time, I haven't tried since, so we're gonna make this happen. Oh, let's see, is that a trout right there? I'm not sure. Man, look at the tumbleweed coming down. We need to make sure with the bullet lure, it might be really challenging to fish between all of the tumbleweed. So right in front of us, it looks like the water is dipping off right about there. And that's where the trout like to hang out is when there's some rapids and then a deep pool. And they're hanging out down there in that pool, waiting for some delicious goodies to come floating by. We might be able to fish the bobber in between all of those tumbleweeds. But if we do hook a fish, it's gonna be woo, totally crazy to try and land one, dodging all of the weeds. All right, full lure time. A little bit of human scent on there. The trout like it. Let's go ahead and make our first cast. Right there, that's the zone that we want to fish. So I'm going to cast. Ooh, there's a bunch of tumbleweeds. We're going to cast right behind the tumbleweeds. Ooh, first cast got a little stuck there already. Deep drop off right there. We're really close to the water. I'm not actually liking that. So we're just going to hide down here, be a little quiet. We don't want to spook the fish. Come on, baby. Right there. Right there. I know there's one hiding there. Ooh, we might have just gotten a hit. Oh, oh, nope, definitely not. It was just more weeds. Come on, this is the one, this is the one. This is where it happens. Come on, baby. Nope, it's definitely not the one. Not the one at all. <sighs> Man, it's challenging. We might have to move on just a tad. That's almost like like a Tomb Raider thing with like the boulders rolling down in the jungle where you're dodging the boulders. That's kind of how the trout feel right now. So let's go ahead and find a better hole. All right, so I just went a little further downstream. It looks like we've got a bit of a back eddy here and a slower hole. Uh, I've got you guys set up on a tripod right over there watching this hole. We're going to try and lure fish this, but this might be a good bobber fishing spot. So I'm really happy that we have the bobber with us. So let's see what we can do with the bullet lure first. Oh, is that a fish right away? No, 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 never mind. Come on, baby, come on, come on. You know you want it, little trout. Come on. Ah, nothing, nothing. You know what? Bullet lure, you have served well. You're a good friend and will remain my friend, but it's time for the bobber. Then we're gonna try and get a bobber down. A lot of you guys ask me all the time how my uh, bobber rig works. Uh, it's an adjustable rig. It's called a slip float. So I've got this little bobber stop knot here. So the bobber slides around on the main line. And what we're going to do is we're going to adjust it kind of shallow. I don't want to fish too deep. Uh, that just goes down to a little swivel and then use a four pound fluoro leader with some uh, spaced out split shot all the way down here to a very small, like a mosquito hook. Who wants to be on YouTube? Ah, this guy here. He was eager. 
pop them on. And I like to have just a little bit of a, a tail dangling off on, on each end like that. And uh, let's see what happens. Tell you what, we're gonna start right here and let it kind of drop in that hole. There we go, watch the bobber. Watch the bobber going through the hole. Going through the hole. Ooh, a bunch of tumbleweeds. We're gonna try and avoid those. Wow, it's tumbleweed city out there. It's probably got some stuff all over it. Now it's, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. it's loaded with weeds. Ooh, we are like in the juice of those rapids there. Maybe the fish are sitting on that other end. Come on, go down just a little bit. Ooh, it's going in the back eddy. It's going in the back eddy. That's the juice zone right there. Come on, what's gonna happen? I know there's a trout hanging out over here. This is gonna be really challenging. Man, the trout are very tricky right now. I think it's literally just with all of that debris coming down, the creek that they're not having it right now we're gonna move up and try and find a calmer hole maybe like a nice slow area of the river where the trout may be holding instead of behind or next to rapids usually this is the fishing is really good here well that's just how it goes That'd be really cool. Oh, that's awesome. I really like beavers. <laughs> so let's see what we can do. Look at that little guy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? That was so cool. I've been wanting to get footage of a beaver for you guys for a while, just because we have like a lot of them in this area and we're not gonna follow him anymore. Just wanted to get a little bit of video of him for you. We'll let him do his beaver thing. Have a good day, beaver. Let's go ahead and get a pole ready here and see what we can do. All right, we're gonna get that slip float ready to roll with a fresh worm. It's a very beautiful bird singing around here for us. I appreciate that, buddy. Keep on singing. I'm just gonna throw that worm on with a couple of, couple of little pricks. This guy here is ready to go. Oh my goodness. Oh no, no, no! <laughs> We're gonna like avalanche into the water. I'm gonna set you up right here. You watch that bobber for me. I'm gonna sneak right over there to that spot. Let's see if we can get one. Dude, I think a trout might have just surfaced in front of us. Is it because I'm dangling the worm right here? We're gonna go a little bit deeper this time. I want this worm to sink down. This is a really deep hole here. There you go, let's float that bobber right by us first. It seems like it might be dragging on the bottom, which is not great. Not terrible though either. The trout probably are sitting pretty low. All right, so I switched up to a uh, bottom fishing rig here. Maybe we're just not able to stay on the bottom or in one area long enough. And with all the stuff floating by, and this, this could be a disaster by the way, this might not work out. So we're just gonna cast it. Cause I know that this hole here is deeper 
than we're getting. Problem is we're just so gonna, yeah, like look at that, already getting into the tumbleweeds, no! Oh, oh man, what a disaster. Right there, right there, come on. Gotta be a trout right there. Oh, that's a fish, that's a fish. That was a fish. We might just get one after all here, guys. That definitely fell. Oh, and the worm's gone, the worm's gone. A fish just bit it. Yes, yes. Dude, let's go, that's a fish down there. If you have ever fished all day with no bites and all of a sudden you feel the tug at the end of your line, then go ahead and smash that like button. That, that was a fantastic experience right there. Man, it's funny how just one tug can absolutely get you motivated again. All right, here we go. Oh man, look at that, it's like a Christmas tree floating by. I think he was biting right down there. Let's get a fish, fish, there we go! Oh, we just had a bite again. We had a bite again, same spot. Okay, that's where he is, that's where he is. Man, I hope it's not just an itty bitty one down there. All right, here we go, here we go. Right there, third time's the charm, third time's the charm. We're gonna get him this time, we're gonna let him munch it. Come on, come on, munch it, munch it, munch it, munch it, munch it. He's on it, there we go, that's a fish on, baby, fish on. Oh, we just had to let him munch it a little bit. That's a good one, that's a good one. Oh my goodness, it's a, that's a good fish. That's a really good fish. Gotta get to the net, gotta get to the net. That's a good fish, guys. Really nice fish. Oh, it's a beautiful rainbow. Oh, my reel is broken. It's, this reel is seen better days. Oh, oh jumper, he's <laughs> a jumper. Oh. Come on, baby, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, I gotta loosen the drag just a little. This is a four pound test and the drag is really tight. I'm afraid if one tumbleweed hits that line, we're toast. Come here, baby. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Oh, oh, come here. Oh, not in the tumbleweed. Oh, let's go. <laughs> Grabby jumped out of the net. <laughs> oh, it's a beauty. Picture perfect rainbow. Wow. Unbelievable. Ah, let's go, baby. We got him. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, man. Oh, he's got so much spunk. Okay. That was a grind, dude. Total grind, but we got him a beautiful male rainbow hooked just right in the corner of the mouth, just perfectly, but just barely. All right, before we even remove the hook from him, we're just gonna. Just want to make sure to put him to sleep right away. That way he's not suffering. Absolutely beautiful example of a rainbow trout. Beautiful, like a pink band down the middle, dark top and totally silvery, silvery bottom. <laughs> That's gonna be a good eater. Thank you, buddy. So much for biting. Wow, what a turn of a day. Man, you guys, I didn't make it out to the property till really late. The sun has already set. That's okay, I can just barely make out what's going on. We're getting close to uh, our campsite. The main objective here really tonight is just making sure that the shelter that large, the hot tent that we set up in the, one of the last episodes that that is still standing. And uh, we're gonna make a fire. I've got the trout right back there in the backpack. Tonight we're gonna try and make a fire with a flint and steel. What we're gonna try and do on the way is find uh, some dry grass. Just some uh, nice dry grass that we can throw in our pocket. Oh yeah. Ugh. Come on. This is gonna be great for starting a fire. 
Oh man, I so hope that the tent is undamaged. Oh, this is so weird to be here right now after the shelter has been here for that long. It has been over a month since I've been here and I am seeing some damage. We have had, uh, okay, it looks like some stakes came out. Oh my goodness. But it is partially collapsed. Luckily, some of the guy lines have held. So all we're gonna have to do is restake some of those lines, bring those babies out, tighten them up, and I think we'll be back in business. Here I've just got right now a tarp with uh, some basic supplies underneath, some wood. We've got uh, propane uh, underneath here. I've got a tote with uh, just some jugs, our fire pit. Not surprised, doing just fine. Beautiful sunset too. On the way in, it was just absolutely gorgeous. Not a cloud in the sky right now. And the moon, the moon's just shining up there nice and bright. I'm sorry, tent. Jeez. Honestly, it's not that bad in there. I think we're good. I think we're good. It's just a little bit of a mess. Man, I'm having a hard time finding like the stakes of where the lines were attached. I feel like when they ripped out with the wind, they just went flying somewhere. <laughs> so it's gonna be a bit of a, a hunt here. Oh, well, here's one. Oh my goodness. We do have a lake in here. Oh my. Oh no, look at that. We've got. Whoa. Oh no. <laughs> so it totally, since it was collapsed, unfortunately the tent was not waterproof while we were gone. So it has absolutely rained into here. So our cowhide has gotten wet. All right, well now we know. Dang, that's a shame, total shame. So the shelter is definitely not good for high winds like that. So what we're probably gonna have to do is build a storage solution out here, like a shed. <laughs> we just have a lake. Look at that, we got our first NWFS pond out of the property. Nothing that we can't deal with. Dang. Not gonna lie, that's a little crushing to come back and see. You know, it could have been worse. It could, in the grand scheme of things, you guys, it could have been worse. I was hoping for better though, not gonna lie. I was hoping that the tent might still be standing. And when it fell and I took a little peek in there, I was hoping it looked dry. I did not expect it to be soaked inside. We just gotta get a fire going. A fire is always good for the morale. When, something, when, there's, when times are down, we're gonna make a nice fire and that's gonna help. All right, and today, once again, we're gonna try and make the fire with the flint and steel, the old cowboy way. Look at that, easy to strike the sparks with that. Uh, we've got our tin right here with uh, some new char cloth in there. All right, we've got a little bit of extra grass. I actually really, this stuff was super crispy over there. Ooh, yeah. All right, so we've got our fire steel. We've got our flint. These sparks, unlike a ferro rod, are not hot enough to light this up directly. So we're gonna have to light up this char cloth right here. Look at that. So we're gonna place this guy right into there. Nice thick clump of it. There we go, there we go. We got a spark in there. 
See that the char cloth just starts going. Oh yes, we got fire. <laughs> yeah. Oh, flint and steel fire. Oh, first time ever. Man, that is a nice sized trout. That's a perfect eater, not too big, not too small. So what we're gonna do is just cut open the belly. We're gonna start right back by the butthole. Yep, it is a male and oh my goodness. The meat is bright red. Next thing we're gonna do is just go in right down there under the tongue, make a cut through there and then hold them like this, rip and all the gills and all the guts all come out together in one piece. <laughs> and you've got a clean trout, the only thing left in there is the kidney, but we're gonna fillet off a little piece so we're not gonna worry about that here tonight. I'm gonna set this out uh, here on the property uh, just for the wild coyotes. You know, I like to share my catch with our um, property pets out here. <laughs> the smoke. We're going to eat this filet right here. But the rest of this fish here, I'm gonna bring it home. I know Kiara is gonna want to bite if you guys are wondering where the dogs are at. Once again, Kiara injured her paw just like two days ago. If any of you guys knows uh, how to maybe strengthen your dog's nails, or has any of you guys had a dog that splits their nails a lot, I'm um, just thinking maybe she just has like a deficiency or something and needs something to like strengthen her nails a little bit. So if anyone had that experience, feel free to drop it in the comments. I'd appreciate it a lot. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is just drizzle on just a little bit of olive oil. Just a little bit more, because we're gonna need it on the other side too. That beautiful red meat is gonna be delicious. So all we're gonna do, we're gonna be super gentle. We're gonna throw on just a little bit of some Danish sea salt here. Oh yes. Ain't gotta be shy, we've been sweating. In this pot right here, we're just gonna throw a little bit of butter in there. There we go. Cube of butter ain't never hurt no one before. How about some mushrooms and onion? That always sounds really good. There we go. know it's gonna be good when it's mushroom and onion time. So we're gonna throw this on there, raise that, that can slowly cook. It's a party in there. Oh man, look at how happy those onions are. mushrooms and onions caramelized to absolute perfection. We're gonna set those guys aside and make room for 
the main dish, the trout. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. We'll wipe our hands right on the pants. Don't let your parents catch you when you do that. <laughs> no rules out here. Man, it looks like a small salmon. <laughs> That's a big trout. A lot of you guys ask if those are steelhead uh, in that creek there. They're not steelhead. That is a completely landlocked system uh, where I'm catching these guys here. All right, we got a little bit of avocado ready for when that trout is done. So maybe if you're still brand new or it's one of your first times watching, uh, basically what I did was I purchased a very large piece of land out here that we can enjoy together. I essentially bought it so that we can have fun with the channel, uh, come out. I've been listening to a lot of you guys uh, saying that you want to see more property update videos. You want to see like a cabin being built out here. I'm going to try and like build maybe a small dugout shelter. I also have a bunch of trail cameras set up out on the land here and I'm probably going to try uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow morning to pick up the SD cards from the trail cameras out here. I haven't checked them, like I said, in probably about a month that it, since I've been here. But we filmed something on the camera that I didn't expect. We, we lost one of our friends on the property, the pack rat. I'm going to roll in the footage real quick of something absolutely beautiful and amazing that happened. Um, it's nature at its finest. We got footage of a wild coyote going into that cave and actually catching and eating the pack rat. <laughs> so <laughs> may the little pack rat rest in peace. Come on, baby. Oh my goodness, look at that. It's absolutely beautiful. Perfectly golden brown and crispy looking. Wow. All right, what we're just gonna do now is throw on a couple little, little tortillas here. You guys know what we're making. A little bit of cheese. Oh yeah, because you guys know every taco needs some cheese. Oh, that was a lot of cheese right there. <laughs> don't need it all, don't need it all, boys and girls. <laughs> nice little crisp. A char on the bottom of these uh, tortillas. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, it's hot. Oh. Dude. Oh, the skin is perfect. Golden brown and crunchy. Mmm. A little bit of onions and mushroom on everything. Look at those delicious, yummy looking little tacos. That creek system that I've been fishing out here for the last few episodes is about to be unfishable for the rest of the year until next winter. That's a good place to come 
in the winter time and then we're going to go back up in the mountains again very soon to in early summer but here the springtime i'm going to spend out at the property we'll just start some projects building some stuff we'll expand our shooting range a little bit too and uh just kind of see what happens that's the nice thing is there's never really a plan when we do come out here let's go ahead and try a little bite out of this taco and see how it is this fire is so nice and warm too jeez mm. that's amazing that trout wow that was probably the most delicious trout in that entire creek i can't believe how good this is Maybe I'm just really hungry, but it hits the spot. I'll tell you that. What we're gonna try and do next time when I come out here too is I'm gonna bring my good camera out and we're gonna shoot some more night lapses and just do some astrophotography and stuff. It's gonna be amazing. So let's just film wild animals at the property, fish, make fires, kick it, shoot some guns, do whatever we want. This is our place, man. You guys are a part of that. You're absolutely a part of this. And I want to know everything, all your wildest ideas and dreams for this place, because I'll probably do a lot of it. Mm. All right, I'm just going to enjoy the fire out here a little bit. And I got to get in there, clean up the tent before going to bed and remember i will be out here again very soon for more property updates and fishing videos so remember to subscribe if you aren't already like the video it helps a ton leave a comment you know i love reading them and we'll see all of you guys for the next fishing adventure and until then you all know it fish on baby